Podcast. My name is Dylan. Today we are talking about Bronny James, LeBron James, and Bryce James working out at the Lakers facility. Check it out. So it seems like Bronny is settling in at home on the Lakers, the team that most likely is going to draft him. I guess LeBron got the key, told Rob Palinka he's going to have a gym for a little bit, and then got his boys and did some runs, right? Just so Bronny could get warmed up for the draft, which is a week away. While I still think that it was unfair, or it is unfair for Bronny to just be selected to a team like this without even really working out without any bias. All right, it is a good look, you know, for LeBron taking the time out you know, to work out with his sons, help get their game up. Because there's a number of things that he could be doing with that kind of money, that kind of influence. You know, he could be wasting his time with women or gambling or whatever it is, but instead he has his sons here on the court. So in no way... No shape, no form. I'm not going to hate on that one. That's a good look. right? And um, this is not in direct relation to the draft or to the scouting combine or anything like that because it doesn't appear that um, that there's any scouts here for any Lakers or, or any Phoenix Suns, the two teams that you know LeBron has made himself available for. This just looks like a friendly little run, you know, nothing bearing at all. Because um, if you know, like I know, like everybody knows Bronny is already selected by the Lakers. So he doesn't have to impress anybody at this point. At this point, he's already on the team, basically. So it's like, it is what it is. So as for his ability, you know, he looks like how he's always looked. Going up against, you know, no real competition, no real defender who's going to body him, be aggressive with him, be very physical, right? What I'm still um, waiting to see is him play well against that type of defense, people who actually want to stop him. I want to see him hit those threes right, when, during the actual game instead of, you know, hitting whatever, 19 to 23 threes, being unguarded. I don't think that that means anything. I want to see him against real competition, game time, speed, what not, and see how good he'll be at that point. Because up to now, I have not seen him be good at all in those type of situations. I don't think anybody really has, maybe except LeBron. Who knows? But um, anyhow, just want to show you guys a little video. That's about it. So until next time.